In this video, we're demonstrating the capabilities of taxes and fees in different transactional scenarios on Clover device. Um, we're going to show what Clover is capable of on its own and also what it's capable of with our app that's called Advanced Fees. Um, so when it comes to taxes and fees, there's a certain set of functionality that's just available on Clover on its own without any additional apps. Let me demonstrate. So this is the inventory app on Clover. There it is, right? And I'm just gonna navigate to non-alcoholic beverages and I have one item and it's just easy to play with uh, and it's Coke. So there's our item and I already have it set up so that, like, so for example, you see you have a so this is item specific tax and fee settings, right? So this is the item, it's Coke. And what you're doing here is you're charging uh, Los Angeles, for example, tax rate of 8.88%. I'm sure, you know, we'll get there soon. Um, and you also are charging a fee of 35 cents. So, uh, and, and, and just so that it's, uh, you know, that's, Actually, let's let's do something. Let's call it a fee A rather than a test, so that is just easier to see on the reports later. Yeah, all right. So, and that's what we're doing with the Coke item specifically, uh, natively, without any apps. In fact, I'm going to show you that Advanced Fees app is currently inactive. Okay, so let me go to the register, and I'm going to navigate to my non-alcoholic beverages, and there's my Coke, and what it does is it charges a tax and a fee and it puts it in that field over there um right so there's the field um and basically the fee is applied out so the fee itself is not taxed right so the taxable amount is dollar 25 and then there is another fee uh, but there's no breakdown, right? So you can't see, it doesn't say, you know, fee A or fee B or anything like that. It's just, and it's bunched. There's no, you know, it doesn't break it down on a transactional level, what's a tax and what's a fee. Um, so we're gonna go to pay and we're gonna pay cash. We're gonna get a receipt. And the receipt does show, um, you know, there it is. It does show the uh, the fee, right? Uh, there it is, and the the tax. Okay, so that's what's available natively, and that is what you're trying to do. Let's say with the bottle deposit, that is how it's possible to tax separately and apply fee separately. Okay, so that's done without any uh, you know without any intervention from our side. Um, now let me show you how our app is going to handle exactly the same scenario. Uh, so you have an advanced fee. Let me go ahead and open it. So we, let's just not call it a test. Let's call it fee B. <laughs> fee B. How's that? All right. So we have ability to set up fees, uh, only, right? So there's no taxes here. Uh, this is all just fees. Uh, and you can do a fee that's expressed in a percentage or you can do a fee that's expressed in the absolute dollar amount you can also trigger the fee on the specific items or you can trigger a fee on the entire order okay you can also have the fee triggered all the time always or you can have the fee triggered conditionally all right so for the bottle scenario that i just demonstrated let's say on a coke uh, uh, what I would do here is I would set it up this way, right? So here's our 55 cents amount fee, uh, and there's our item. It's non-alcoholic beverages and it's basically Coke and it's just that one item, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that and there it is. And it's now active. So, but first I'm going to go to the inventory and turn off all those other fees. So they're not interfering. Um, so I'm going to keep my tax. There it is. I'm still going to tax it, right? Uh, it's a ridiculous percentage, but the fee from the native app is turned off. Okay, so, yep, there it is. Now, let's go to the register, right? 
and we're going to navigate to non-alcoholic beverages and see what happens here. All right, so now you can see the fee and it's inserted right there and it's broken down uh, in the register. Um, but I do believe that the tax amount, right, is including that fee. So if this is the way you need it, this is the app. If you need it the other way, you know, you can do that natively without an app at all. So uh, it just it won't show up here. It'll be bunched in there. But let's just kind of take this through. And, you know, so let me pay. All right. So there's our receipt. Um, and, and this receipt is basically the opposite, right? So uh, you get... Uh, actually, no, it's not. So you have your Coke right there, and then there's the fee, right? Fee B, uh, 55 cents. It's inserted in there, and then there's taxes, and it's not in there. So the uh, that would be the other scenario, okay? So this is uh, item level fees expressed in the absolute dollar amounts, okay? And so far, you know, you might be leaning towards just a native approach or our app which is perfectly fine because ultimately you need to solve your problem, right? Um, but let me kind of go at it a little different scenario. So let's say you're looking to set up a fee that's item specific, but it's in a percentage, right? Like that. And let's say it's 25%. I'm making it that much um, so that it's um, easier to see, okay? So there it is. It's a fee uh, that's applied at 25%, but it's item level. Okay. So let's see uh, how that plays out in a register. I'm going to go to my non-alcoholic beverages. There's my Coke. There's my fee, right? And it's expressed in, uh, you know, percentage, but it translates to 31 cents. That would be 25%. Uh, and you know in that case well yeah no it's still it's still taxable so that fee is still taxable but it is not possible in clover uh, let me show you to express that at all right so uh if you go to setup that's where you can handle the global fees right i should have probably led with that but anyways here we are so there's the setup and you go to taxes and fees right and so there it is if you're setting up a uh, c like you have basically those are your two options if it's a percentage it has to be tax and if it's a fee it has to be flat so clover natively does not have the capability to set up item level fee that's expressed in percentage based on whatever the item cost is the only fee that um, Clover is capable of handling is actually not even item specific, but you can turn it on based and trigger it on item, but it would be also taken outside of the tax break, whereas with our app, it would be taken inside of the tax, taxable amount, right? Uh, but again, Clover does not allow for flat fee to be expressed in uh, percentage. Our app does. Okay. The other point of difference is that, you know, you can have a, a global setting for, um, you know, for all of your uh, taxes, right? So, uh, for example, you can take this one and say default will be applied to any item with default taxes and fees turned on, right? So, if you have all of your items turned on to default and then you make this one default, then this one triggers all the time, okay? Uh, and fees let me see, are the same way, right? So you can make them item specific or you can make them global, but you cannot make any of this stuff natively transaction specific. And you'd be like, well, what do you mean by transaction specific? And well, let me show you, you know. Uh, so here's our app, the advanced fee, and we're gonna make it conditional. And we're just gonna say, do you want this fee added to the item or not? Right, so there it is. And transaction specific, means something like this let me just go ahead and delete this item and add it again it goes hey do you want to add this fee or not i do there's the fee right so that's transaction specific it just asks every time and natively not possible to do on clover 
all right uh so that's basically all the different differentiators um that we have just on the item level um there is let me go ahead and remove this um yeah 